Hello everyone, this is Carl from Rainsburg here and welcome back to the Book of Exodus. Uh, in this uh, little bit of installment, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different because uh, the previous videos were just my face busy reciting verses and I thought, well, let me do the inverse of that and just, you know, show myself reading verses on the actual computer screen. The reason for this is because I actually also have a lot less time to set up um, video and for these bible reading videos i don't believe it's actually necessary to show video of my face we're going to be picking up back in the book of exodus uh in exodus 13 where we left off and this is actually much better than how i'm previously how i previously did this because you can actually see what i'm reading so and uh, let's start with the first verse and so just a bit of background in the previous chapter well i can actually go there uh, the, Moses finally got what he wanted, well God uh, as well, they were able to get out of the land of Egypt and they started the long journey to the promised land. Now in chapter 13 this picks up and the Lord says to Moses, Sanctify unto me all the firstborn, whatsoever openeth the womb among the children of Israel, both of man and of beast, it is mine. And Moses said unto the people, Remember this day in which ye came out of out from Egypt, out of the house of bondage, for by strength of hand the Lord brought you from this place. There shall be no leavened bread, there shall no leavened bread be eaten. This day come ye out in the month Abib, and it shall be when the Lord shall bring thee in the land of the Canaanites, and the Hittites, and the Amorites, and the Hivites, and the Jebusites, which is swear unto thy fathers to give thee a land flowing with milk and honey, that thou shalt keep this service in this month. Seven days thou shalt eat unleavened bread, and in the seventh day shall be a feast unto the Lord. Unleavened bread shall be eaten seven days, and there shall be no unleavened bread be seen with thee, neither shall there be neither, neither shall there be leaven seen with thee in all thy quarters. Okay. So basically no um, leavened bread. And thou shalt show thy son in that day, saying, This is done because of that which the Lord did unto me when I came forth out of Egypt. And it shall be for a sign unto thee upon thine hand, and for a memorial between thine eyes, that the Lord's law may be in thy mouth. For with a strong hand hath the Lord brought thee out of Egypt. Thou shalt therefore keep this ordinance in a season from year to year. And it shall be when the Lord shall bring thee in the, into the land of the Canaanites, as he swear unto thee and to thy fathers, and shall give it thee. That thou shalt set apart unto the Lord all that openeth the matrix, Okay, I'm kind of curious to know what this means in this context. Uh, it's, no, I don't want to add a note. Can Is there concordance or something here? Share. No, I don't want to print it. Um, okay, well, I don't know what it means in this context, but let's just assume that it means matrix as it's in the sense that it does today, and matrix is just a table of different values. And every first, which doesn't really help us in this, uh, that, that's a bit of a vague um, definition, but um, let's just actually see matrix. Maybe there's a bit of a older definition. A mass of fine grained rock in which gems, crystals or fossils are embedded. That didn't really get us far, but so let's just assume that's the definition. And every firstling of an ass, <laughs> meaning a donkey, thou shalt redeem with a lamb. And if thou wilt not redeem it, then thou shalt break his neck. Okay. <laughs> well, here I was joking, and then it got serious. And all the firstborn of man among thy children shall thou redeem. Okay, so some apparently my previous video, because I reacted in a bit of shock to the plague of the firstborn, um, some people thought that I'm not Christian. I I am still Christian. I just I am reacting to what is actually pretty shocking events in the Old Testament. So it's it's not that. Look, that I'm not a Christian. It's just sometimes the Bible can shock a person. So it does shock a person, and there's nothing wrong with that. And all that the firstborn among thy children shall, shalt thou redeem. And it shall be when thy son asketh thee in time to come, saying, What is this thou shalt, that thou shalt say unto him? By strength of hand the Lord brought us from Egypt, from the house of bondage. And it came to pass when Pharaoh would hardly let us go, that the Lord slew all firstborn in the land of Egypt both the firstborn of man and the firstborn of beast. Therefore I sacrifice to the Lord all that openeth the matrix, being males, matrix, good heavens, but all the firstborn of my children I redeem. Okay, let's just wait, 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 switch to a different um, translation of the Bible and uh, see 
what their definition is of it. The first offspring of every womb and that openeth the matrix. Okay, so the matrix refers to the first offspring of every womb. Okay, I did not see that one coming. Um, and it shall be a token for, and it shall be for token upon thine hand and for the, f and for frontlets between thine eyes. For by strength of hand, the Lord brought us forth out of Egypt. And it came to pass when Pharaoh had let the people go, that God led them not through the way of the land of the Philistines. That although that was near, for God said, lest peradventure the people repent when they see war and return to Egypt. Um, just basically because they may change their minds and go back to Egypt. But God led the people about through the way of the wilderness of the Red Sea, and the children of, and the children of Israel went up harnessed out of the land of Egypt. Moses took the bones of Joseph with him, for he had straightly sworn the children of Israel, saying, God will surely visit you, and ye shall carry up my bones away hence with you. And they took their journey from Sukkot, and encamped in Etam, in the edge of the wilderness. And the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of cloud to lead them the way, and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light to go by day and night. He took not away the pillar of the cloud by day, nor the pillar of fire by night from before the people. Okay, so I uh, think that's actually going to be enough for this uh, installment of another Bible reading. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please uh, let me know what you think of the new format. Um, it's quite simple compared to the last one, but I think this works better than, you know, just staring at my face, busy staring off on the screen talking. Because um, I didn't want to have, I had way too little time to actually put the verses one by one on so but this this works much more efficiently and maybe i'll add a little webcam here in the corner or something if you guys want to you know see my face again for some reason but thank you guys so much for tuning in i hope you guys enjoyed this and i'll see you guys again next time with another video right here on kvrx